morning, everyone. So today I'm going to discuss a bit about, you know, uh, chronic kidney disease and uh, how, you know, a specific semi-essential, you know, amino acids plays a role in, in you know, uh, uh, in onset and progression of, you know, uh, chronic kidney disease, right? And, 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 and this is really, really important from, not only from a chronic kidney disease perspective, but also from the perspective of, you know, hypertension type 2 diabetes, you know, and, 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 and you know, a lot of other metabolic issues, right? So, so here, the most important aspect to be considered is, you know, uh, nitric oxide, right? And then we've discussed this over, over last uh, few, few talks that there are two major pathways for nitric oxide production. What is, one is, uh, nitric oxide synthase NOS which is generally found on your end, end, endothelial cells and you know uh, it it is one of the uh, key enzyme which convert l arginine again l arginine is in uh, semi essential amino acid right it is found in various foods right uh, like milk meat uh, organ meats right and and it is a body also makes l arginine through urea so that's why we call it semi essential right and uh, and you know, uh, this this enzyme convert converts L arginine into nitric oxide, and nitric oxide we know is is required for vasodilation. It it helps in smoothing your blood flow, right? It regulates your blood pressure. It improves your insulin sensitivity. It it actually uh, reduces the risk of erectile dysfunction. It impacts sexual health. You know a lot of these things, right? And that is one pathway again. But uh, so if we take too much of L arginine because we do take a lot of high protein diets and L arginine is found in most of the high protein foods, right? So so if you take that, you know, it may counter effect because, you know, uh, our body does not need that much of L arginine because, you know, our body also makes L arginine. So, so essentially, uh, this high uh, L arginine production uh, or consumption, right, it can actually... Uh, make this, uh, you know, uh, specific enzyme, you know, produce superoxide, which can cause oxidative stress, which can cause inflammation, which can cause uh, metabolic issue, immune dysfunction, right? Besides, it also uh, over-express another pathway, what, is, what we call arginase. And again, you know, it, it converts, uh, it actually metabolizes all this, all this, you know, um, Excess L arginine, which which is determinant to our health, right? And and uh, so uh, first thing is, you know, we don't need L arginine for too much of L arginine through diet to con to to produce uh, nitric oxide, right? Um, that is one aspect of it, right? Uh, so again, uh, the dysfunction of this uh, NOS is. Uh, somewhere uh, you know uh, linked to your chronic kidney disease you know uh, and it is it is generally done by oxidation of you know one particular uh, molecule which is called tetrahydrobiopectin right so so again this causes uncoupling of nitric oxide synthase which which actually enables the production of nitric oxide and you know uh, and this increases our blood pressure levels it increases risk of diabetes and we know you know it it when there's high blood sugar levels, probably you know the 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 there's a huge flow of blood to 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 kidneys and it 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 you know the 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 blood vessels of the kidneys and it it actually impacts your kidney functioning. Similarly, for for cases of high blood pressure levels, right? So it impacts you know it it actually weakens the the arteries which which is once we're providing this blood flow to kidneys and this this causes this increases the risk of chronic kidney disease, right? So so. Uh, you know, these this is one of the pathways. Other pathways, is obviously, you know, the the oral microbiome, right? So, so a lot of these microbes in our in our mouth convert nitrate into nitrite, and nitrite even mixes with stomach acid. It it produces nitric oxide, right? So, so you know, again, and that is these are two basic basic pathways, and and this oral microbiome is really, really important because you know, uh, the the ability of NOS, right? To produce nitric oxide reduces by eight to ten percent every year. So by the age, by, by the by the time you reach the age fifty, the you your NOS can only produce up to fifty percent nitric oxide. That's why the, the balancing your oral microbiome is very really, really important, right? Again, you know, again, uh, you know, uh, if, if you see uh, 
you know, uh, if you're taking a lot of, if you have acid reflux, taking a lot of antacids, right? Antacid actually remove your stomach acid, so it reduces your, you know, it, it depletes your stomach acid. It, it, it it's your ability to actually, you know, uh, produce nitric oxide, right? It also uh, inhibits, uh, you know, uh, it also actually, it also increases uh, a particular enzyme, what we call is EDMA, asymmetry dimethyl arginine, which actually, you know, inhibits the functioning of NOS, right? So that's how both pathways are actually interlinked, right? So, so essentially, ADMA actually inhibits your, uh, you know, uh, any and NOS activity, and that's that's one of the again reason, you know, uh, it can lead to you know, uh, chronic kidney disease. Other way around, you know, if you are taking a lot of protein, your 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 plasma level is really, really high, right? Sometimes it can enter the endothelial, endothelial cells, and it can lead to NOS or endothelial cell dysfunction, right? So essentially, you know, uh, taking too much of protein or larger and thinking, you know, where it is going to help you lose weight or it is going to produce a lot of nitric oxide. Allergen and supplements are completely a waste of money and probably it is going to impact your health adversely, right? So you need to understand your biology, right? You need to understand the NOS activity. You need to understand your your nitric oxide production via oral microbiome. Right, uh, whether you have the right set of microbes active, they are actually producing nitric oxide. You know, if you're taking PPIs like antacids because of you know acid reflux or GERD, right? Probably it is going to increase your risk of chronic kidney disease, right? Heart disease because of low nitric oxide production and you know high high blood pressure situations. You know, low insulin sensitivity, right? Erectile dysfunction. You know. Uh, uh, you know, infertility issues in females, a lot of these things, right? So, so essentially, you have to understand your biology rather than just falling for your fat diet, right? So I'm just going to share, this is our, uh, you know, kit uh, uh, for oral microbiome, you know, which we have launched and, and you know, it's it's open now, you know, we are accepting samples for, for the oral microbiome, oral, oral hike and, and, you know, uh, probably, you know, you, it's really, really important because, Oral macron is anyway connected to a lot of systemic health issues like diabetes, cardiovascular disease, dementia, you know, uh, sexual health, you know, uh, even even digestive issues, IBD, colon cancer, right? So so uh, do not guess, just just try to you know uh, understand your biology, understand what is going on inside your body, how your biology works, right? And and what specific intervention your body needs to regulate your regulate your your various biochemical activities. That's it for today. Have a great day. Thank you very much.